Hi and welcome to this video. My name is Brian Nelson from Encaustic Art Plus, based in Nelson. Hi, welcome to the video. Thank you for supporting the channel. If you'd like to support the channel some more and you've not already subscribed, please click the red subscribe button. It's totally free. Um, I'm going to do another one of the planet um, designs, but just using the iron. So for people that haven't got the compact hot plate or the larger hot plate to show you how to do that. The, one of the parts I'm going to show you is how to dismantle the iron, make it into a mini hot plate. When you do this, please have your iron turned off. That is, make sure your iron is cooled down and off before you make it into a hot plate. Right, I've got my A6 painting card and I've got my iron. Pop your iron down flat and the clip at the back, pull the clip back, the iron handle will lift away like so. Then place the entirety of the handle, now then let me just check. Um, Get that way. So the um, writing is on your left hand side and it goes over the green part but not over the black and it'll click. There's like a little lug and it'll click. If your iron is an older encaustic iron and it doesn't click in place very well, you can always tape, uh, put some strips, because your iron will be cold, put some strips of tape, uh, of masking tape or the heat proof tape to hold it in place. Right, so I've now got a mini hot plate. This is fine to work on a piece of A7 or A6. This is A6 and this is what we're going to work on. Piece of card. Let's choose some colours first. We'll do the purple. Uh, yeah, we'll do the purple on a good... So I'm like putting the wax on and then just manoeuvring the card around so watch your fingers and thumbs remember roughly how big your iron is you can still use your rollers and things to give yourself some texture if you haven't got all these sorts of things, you can use bits of tissue to get some texture and things. Don't worry about that too much. But all these little bits and pieces you can find on my website. If you can't find it, just give me a shout. If it's not in my Etsy or Amazon store and you want it, just send me a message or an email. Give me a ring, whatever. My details are plentifully available. Don't mind chatting people through the processes. Right, there we go. So we've got a background. Okay, now we're going to put some planets on our background. A light blue. So I've just pulled my painting across looks like we've had some yellow or something so I don't know what kind of what colour we're going to get push it down lift it up it's alright it's fine this one's quite dark just get that warm up see what we get These have been used before. This is like a purpley orangey colour. 
fine. Put one down here in this colour. In fact, over here, I think it looked quite cool. Make sure you've just given this a little twist so it'll just look a little bit different to the other one. Hopefully, it looks very similar, but it'll be fine. And then this little bit, this is the bit out of the middle of the donut in the pack of uh, four sponges. Okay, um, I've had some metallic wax on here. Um, so I'll just warm it up and we'll reuse what's left over to put two or three tiny planets on. Very good. Paintbrush. You can use this technique later as well. Um, to put snow on your pictures. White wax. Rest your brush. So it's worth to keep a brush just for white and pale coloured waxes. Don't worry, this brush will get quite thick and bleh. It's quite normal. And then while the wax is still soft, because of the heat, just give it a gentle Actually, let that get too warm. It's now not quite to it now. Can become a bit too fluid and not quite do what you want. Sometimes. If you want bigger bits, just bang it against your hand. If you want smaller ones, Flick the bristles. You'll end up covered in wax, but don't worry about that. It'll soon wash off. Your hands. Doesn't tend to wash out of clothing very well, so wear an apron if you feel you need to. A bit more white wax down. This isn't melting very. This isn't working very well today. Maybe the fact it's so hot in here as well. It's not quite getting to that right. We're filming on one of the hottest days of the year, if not the hottest day of the year. That's better. These little splodges represent stars and the tiny planets. What we can do then, we can pull the iron out of the way. We can take such as a light blue and we can crayon. Hmm. Perhaps not the light blue, maybe the silver might work better. On some of the darker planets, if you wish. That's working. You can crayon a ring or a part ring around one of the planets. I hope you've enjoyed that. It shows you that you can still do these sorts of things without the other tool. Take care. Enjoy. Happy painting everyone and we'll look forward to seeing you all in our next video. Please hit like and subscribe.